Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Jay Cluddington here at OSCON, and I'm here with... Gordon Clark. And you're with Family Search, which is, I think, the, the largest genealogy information provider possibly on the planet. What are you guys doing at OSCON? Well, uh, at OSCON, we have a, a wonderful audience here. Everybody was born, so everybody has an interest in their, in their heritage. Uh, but the real reason uh, we're here is our, uh, our data is, uh, is built upon a platform, so we have APIs. So uh, over the last few years, we've been working with companies to, uh, to generate more clients, uh, more innovation in how you access the data that we have. So uh, web services is what we're all about. So, if I were a developer looking to use your APIs, what would be an example of something that I, I might develop uh, against Family Search? Well, certainly uh, you might develop a uh, mobile application that, uh, that searches our data. You might uh, develop an application that makes it possible to find uh, interesting information on the internet and associate it with people that are in our tree, uh, you know, a, a mashing activity. because. Um, uh, uh, in addition to substantiating the events in the life of the person, you want to create uh, some of the, uh, find the articles and the stories, the obituaries that, that make it more of a multimedia experience to tell the story of an uh, ancestor. So uh, companies are, are doing that. Uh, we, uh, Photoloom is one of them. Uh, you can upload your pictures. Uh, if it's uh, pictures that have multiple people in it, you can isolate them and, and uh, put them uh, uh, associate them with people that are in our tree. Uh, app, mobile application that came out just before Memorial Day uh, is called Billion Graves. Uh, people uh, are uh, taking pictures of, of tombstones and then uh, a, a crowdsourcing group uh, behind the scenes is transcribing them. So all of these this public data that is very uh, valuable in, in, in uh, you know documenting even though it's in stone uh, documenting what's available, I mean, information about the person, you know, birth date, death date, relationships, uh, slogan, you know, nice comment. Uh, that's a wonderful crowdsourcing application. And so they're up to over uh, 50,000 uh, 50, uh, tombstones in, in just less than a month. And uh, they're shooting for a billion tombstones in the next few years. Is that uh, information in Billion Grave stuff that then uh, you take back and, and add to the data that you already have? Well, it's online. You link to the data. Oh, so you, so they're connecting their data to your data. Yes. So a good way to, a good way to look at that is uh, is when in, in geo mapping uh, the anchor is a longitude and magnitude. Well, we want to have a clear understanding of who this person is, where they are in time, and who their parents and who their children are. Then that person, our person ID, which we hope will be universal someday, then all the richness of material that's on the web that's been digitized can be linked to our, our person in our, our master tree. And if I'm a developer wanting to create a project, is there a cost to using your API? There's, there's not a cost. Uh, uh, people uh, work on uh, standalone projects if they want to partner with us. Uh, we have a, a, a program, and that's why you have right here, you know, certification. Uh, certification is more to set minimum standards, and if, if we are going to do co-marketing, we got to know each other from a business sense. So uh, there, that is a, a definite program. So we think it will be an enticement for the, the right type of developers to... to um, team up with us in, in developing a meaningful experience. Uh, on that note, just like to highlight that often when it comes to uh, internationalization, we think translation. We have learned that uh, culturalization of applications a whole lot more than uh, just translation. And so we see applications being built in their homeland country with the technologists there that are more appropriate than us Anglo-Saxons can figure out here to address their needs and how they look at the family. So, so client development uh, needs to be done by lots of people for either a cultural need, a uh, user uh, age level or differently in how they look at stuff, or even their computer savvy. People that aren't computer savvy need one type of application than people that are not computer savvy. Our, what we're all about is the building up of the data 
and the sharing of the data. So there can be lots of uh, innovative applications that either cater from a new function or cater for a, a new type of uh, uh, audience. In terms of the application space that's out there, are there any particular areas where you guys would like to see more applications developed? Well, we've been saying it pretty clearly, more mobile and more social integration into social media. Excellent. Well, thanks for your time. You're welcome. Locker Gnome coverage of OSCON is brought to you by HP.